Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a story time. And this story time only happened, let's just say, three weeks ago. In fact, two weeks ago, not three weeks ago. And this is the story of um, how I freaked out in my English exam. So if I had to pick between, if I had to pick which one's the easiest out of maths and English, it would be English because... You know, if you know how English goes, guys, basically, um, you have to, they give you a text to do, and you have to, like, highlight the text that you, that is important, that the examiner wants you to write down, and then you're going to put it into a paragraph, and each, like, question is a different paragraph, um, whereas maths, you've got calculations, you've got, like, stuff like that, obviously, I'm not going to name all of it, but you've got exam oh my god you've got calculations you've got to you know there's a way that you have to do it but it's like i found maths really difficult calculations you've got like stuff like that obviously i'm not going to name all of it but you've got exam oh my god you've got calculations you've got to you know there's a way that you have to do it but it's like i found maths really difficult since i started doing maths probably in year one um but yeah, so for example, so this this last couple of weeks of half term, we've been having exams in maths and English. So we had one mock of maths, one mock of English. So basically, that those two weeks that we were doing it, because maths was a week and English was a week, they couldn't put it on like the same week because um, obvious reasons. <laughs> but because I've been taken out of lessons, um, basically I um go in a different room and do the exam that way instead of um you know instead of like doing the exam in a hall like some people do kind of situation um so for maths um i know this is about the english exam because it was english that i failed i don't i haven't got the results back yet but i know i failed uh, but for maths um i got i got there uh it was like in the afternoon so i had my lunch i was obviously woken up because in the morning i'm a bit you know oh, no, no. <laughs> you know like really <laughs> down in the dumps and want to go back to bed i'm like that every morning and uh, no matter what i do even if we go on holiday i'll do something exciting i still feel sick or whatever so I feel tired, especially tired. So yeah, so yeah. So I'm just trying to get it all in my head. <laughs> Sorry if you're bored right now, but yeah, that's just reality, I guess. So um, got into the maths exam, did the maths. It was a calculator, so I had my calculator and I was like, do 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 do. You know what I mean? Like doing doing the exam in a hall. Like some people do, kind of situation. Um, so for maths, um, I know this is about the English exam because it was English that I failed. I don't. I haven't got the results back yet, but I know I failed. Uh, but for maths, um, I got. I got there. Uh, it was like in the afternoon, so I had my lunch. I was obviously woken up because in the morning I'm a bit, you know, oh, no, no. <laughs> you know, like really <laughs> down in the dumps and want to go back to bed. I'm like that every morning and uh, no matter what I do, even if we go on holiday, I'll do something exciting. I still feel sick or whatever. So yeah, I feel tired, especially tired. So yeah, so So I'm just trying to get it all in my head. <laughs> Sorry if you're bored right now, but yeah, that's just reality, I guess. So, um, got into the maths exam, did the maths. It was a calculator. So I had my calculator and I was like, do, 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 do. You know what I mean? Like doing the work. Came out of it, did all, every other lesson was normal. So we didn't have maths that week. So for example, didn't have to go into maths that week. Um, not that, in fact, we didn't have a reader for the English, but we did get taken out and we did get a computer reader where we go on this special like 
app or whatever it was and basically on there it would read out the questions only you don't do the work on there you do it on the paper you write on paper but if you want let's say a word to be read out then all the sentence or whatever in case your mind's going crazy then you press the button and it will highlight it for you and it will read it it's kind of like one of those like um story reader things kids have you know when like young kids who are um, learning to read like they go through the words kind of like that so got into the got to so got off my bus and i was shaking i remember i had butterflies in my stomach and i was just keeping myself calm and collected i was like this is gonna be all right it's just a flicking exam it's not the real thing don't be stressed they're not there out to bite they're not there to bite you they're there to help you the teachers so i got to um the building that i was in went to the classroom which i thought was like on one corridor but it was in like a secret location behind the wall so i was like well that's cut cl that classroom must be very hard if you know to i was i've been here for nearly two years my college and i did not know that room Bloody hell. But anyway, maybe I did, I don't know. This is English, guys. I was reading in my book about at college about uh, how to answer the questions. We were doing practice stuff all the way through the year. Um, and my teacher said, a couple of weeks before we did the mock, which I found really funny, she came up to me and we were doing like a test after every single like question we were doing like what once like we've done it a few times she would like get us to write it up on our own and um, just so that we're confident and know what we're doing in the real thing because it's not her sitting in the exam it's us and in the exam even if she was one of the vigilators she can't tell me she can't tell anybody um how to do the questions so it's just up to you so yeah so i was doing the um revision and she was like and i finished early because everybody else was doing a different like question because i finished early on that question um so she came to mark it and she was like oh my gosh amy well done if you did this in the real thing you'll get a b like a b or a c and i was like that's definitely what i need this year so I was getting excited and I told my mum and she was like, yes, you're finally going to pass in English. I um, don't know about maths, that's a bit hard, but I'm going to try both of them to get what I need in both exams. So, you know, the week that I had the exam, I obviously I've been doing exams for two years before that. Wait, started. No freaking hell joke, I only did the toilet. Not a number one. Or number two. Oh yes, I forgot to go. Actually, I did go before I left the house, but I forgot to go. So in that half hour that I was waiting to be let in, I could have went toilet. I could have went toilet. But I like to do things the complicated way, you know me in real life. I do things the complicated way. <laughs> so I was sat in that an hour and a half freaking exam with a bladder that's about to explode. The Titanic was in water. Okay, that was unnecessary, but yeah. So, I, I was a bit, like, thirsty as well. I forgot to bring a drink. I was thinking the night before I was going to buy... I was going to come in early, get off the bus in my area, go to the shops, buy a drink of water, take the freaking label off, because you're not allowed that in the exam, and go to the exam. But, for example, but that day... I, for some reason, forgot to get the water. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to make sure I buy one the day before the exam. Just so that I'm not, like, stressing out. <sighs> God. So. Sorry, I'm just. Yeah. So, I was in the exam. I needed the toilet. I was thirsty. I am not, like, new to the whole thing. So, yeah, so I started freaking out. My legs, my I was, like, doing this, like, um, shaking in my seat. Uh, the invigilator was still in the room. And then she went out the room. The one vigilator that was in the freaking room 
walked out. I don't know the reason for it. She went into the next storeroom. That could be dangerous. Well, not dangerous, but, you know, you can't, as an examiner, you cannot leave your student, what they're called, like, what you call when you're doing an exam. Is it like, I don't know, but the students on their own in case they go, oh, look, the teacher's here. Let me just get my book out real quick and be like, all right, that's how you do that. You know what I mean? You can't do that. But anyway, I wasn't really bothered. Nobody dared cheat um, in that exam. I think somebody, I think I did see somebody in the corner of my eye at the door watching us, like, just in case anything happened. Like, somebody tried to cheat. Uh, but they had cameras in there anyway, so even if you tried to cheat, they could, like, prove it. Isn't it true, guys, if you get, like, a C... Sorry, an A plus, like not an A plus, an A star in exams. You have to redo it to prove to the examiner that it was actually you doing it instead of you, in case you were cheating. Because I've heard that somewhere. Some people are talking about it in the. I felt like crying. And in fact, I was tears. You know when you're on the verge of crying and you get like tears in your eyes? That was me. So I sat there having tears in my eyes. And for some freaking reason, remember I was studying the night before, for some freaking odd reason, that day, out of all days doing, you know, English, I freaking forgot uh, how to answer some questions. So, like, there was an eight marker, there were two eight markers. 116, 120, 140, and 140, I think. Or maybe the 16 was on the other side. I don't know. So, it's an eight, a 16, a two, and a 20. And then a 40 <coughs> mark. And the 40 mark is, like, the right infection. But, yeah, this is not one of my old exams. Oh, that's not. Stop you. But, this is actually good, really. in that exams i know this is paper two but who really cares so this is on last year i know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 